Because it, because it would be an order without suspending the rules to clarify, to refer to committee to report back tomorrow, yes? Yes. So that should we specify in the motion to suspend that it has to... Please amend the motion to... Yes. Well, I, I, I take your intent rather than necessarily your exact wording. <laughs> I, with, I withdraw my inquiry. Stop going. Stop. Sir. 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 I want to see. I want to get the spelling of your name. Thank you. P Y N E. Thank you. Right, we have a motion to suspend the rules and, and send this to a committee to report back next year. Um, those takes two thirds to do this. Hello, Kevin. Point of order. Yep. And I'm raising this, Mr. Chairman, because I don't think it's ever come up. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I just thought it's okay. Sorry. Uh, Mr. Chairman, there is a principle behind suspend the rules, and that is that rules that affect the rights of absentees yeah. cannot be suspended. And this may well be suspended. I would like the chair to rule on whether, I, and Mr. Chairman, I'm asking that the a ruling on whether this motion is even in order because members may take our rules as written for granted that. All that can happen here is it be killed outright by, by postpone indefinitely or OTC. But that motions to create committees were, could not be taken up until the main business meeting, and therefore they may choose not to attend here. Yes. Despite having, yes, you are, I think, right. And therefore, I think, therefore as the point motion. of order, that the motion to suspend the rules and refer to committee for, to refer next year is out of order. Yep. And if people will stop popping up to say things, we can then leave it and come back tomorrow. Ben. <laughs> um, while I, sorry, uh, Ben Yellow. While I actually believe that Kevin and Tim are correct. I believe this motion is su of sufficient importance that I want to get it into the stuff that the nitpicking committee will notice, and therefore I am going to appeal the ruling of the chair. Uh, <laughs> and that way, should the appeal be defeated, then we will have something that the nitpicking committee can put into the rules because I agree completely with Kevin and Tim that this is an important thing to note for the future. Right. Does anybody wish to speak to the appeal? Or shall we just have a quick show of hands? Favor or uh, I don't think it matters. Yes. For my point, I take that Kevin's statement was entirely correct. Right. And, and as the maker of the appeal, I believe I have Yep. the right to speak, and I am choosing not to speak because as the maker of a motion, I cannot speak against my own motion. <laughs> um, I'm Joshua Cronengold, and I would like to speak for this motion. Uh, because a uh, postpone indefinitely is a allowable two-thirds motion at the preliminary meeting, it is already known by attendee, uh, um, that by absentees at the preliminary meeting, that a motion could be killed at the preliminary meeting. Therefore, a motion to refer to committee is merely a lesser version of what is already allowable, and therefore the rights of uh, absentees are not in any way violated by allowing it um, via suspension of the rules. Thank you. Terry, wish to speak? Sorry, I'm bringing it. I'm still Terry Neal. Um, I think that we have a flow of the meeting that people understand that continue to come to the meeting. We also have that eight minute video that's been out um, online for a while that people have watched and that if we uh, overrule the chair, we're going to stick a socket wrench in that expectation, and I don't think that we should do that. Thank you. Elspeth. I think that assumption is incorrect. I can't hear you. Sorry, I think that assumption is incorrect, that we should not assume that people would do those things. Thank you. Seth. Um, 
Seth Breitbart. Parliamentary inquiry. If we were to overrule the chair and assign this motion to a committee, would it be in order for the main meeting to take it back from the committee and consider it? No, I don't think so. Well, can I speak for a moment? So, Tim? Okay, not me, Donald. Yep. Oh, so, the, uh, if we were to do all that, uh, then the main business meeting would have to use some of the processes by which you can undo things you've already done. I yeah. mean, you can move to reconsider, or you can do things like that. But it, it, it couldn't, by normal motions, take yeah. it back. That was my feeling. Right. Meanwhile, back at the uh, appeal of the ruling of the chair. Kate, are you wishing to speak to the, to the ruling? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> or again. Uh, yeah, are we for or against, Mr. Chairman? You can be whichever you like. <laughs> I will be. <laughs> My name is Kate Secor. I think there is a qualitative difference between we're going to talk about this at this meeting only, we're not going to talk about this at all, and hey, if you wanted, didn't like the way it was this year, but you wanted a chance to fix it, we've made a committee and you could do that. Those are three really different thought processes. And there are people who are like, I don't care about this form of the motion. I think it's bad. If it dies, I don't care. Who would, if given a chance to participate in making it better, come and do that? I think not giving them a chance to know that a committee's even being formed because they didn't think you could do that here is somewhat unfair. Thank you. Anybody else wish to speak, or shall we proceed to a vote? Seeing no hands, proceed to a vote. The question is, shall the ruling of the chair be sustained? Those in favor of my ruling that the uh, motion to send to committee is out of order, to suspend rules and send to committee is out of order, please show. Yep, those against, those wishing to overturn the ruling are fewer in number. The motion is therefore lost. And therefore, the motion was out, is still out of order, and we just have the main motion back on the floor. Does anybody wish to say anything about it, or shall we leave it till tomorrow? Yeah. Hearing no, nothing, that will go forward to tomorrow's business meeting, probably to a committee. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. We never set the time limit on it. Yes, we did. <laughs> we set 10 minutes, the very first thing. 10 minutes? No, we set 5 minutes. No, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. 10. 10. 10 minutes. Because it was controversial. Oh, right, right, right. That's right. Tim proposed 5, Kevin proposed 10 minutes. Yeah. Right, D2, adding series to the series. This is one of the nitpicking committee's little technical corrections where we spotted that some words have been missed out. I propose to set five minutes for this. Any objection? Hearing none, it's five minutes. Does anybody wish to speak to it or do we just let it go forward to tomorrow's meeting? Can we go Seeing none. Can we go it now? No. no. Go forward to tomorrow. Right, item D3, counting comics, which is a technical fix to a problem with the, uh, what is a comic in many ways. Um, no. What is a graphic? Well. <laughs> the problem is how to count them because of what they are. <laughs> what is an entity that can go into the uh, Hugo category? Um, anyway. I propose five minutes on that. Does anybody wish to propose anything else at the back there? David Bratman, I think there will be some discussion on this, and I would like to propose eight minutes. Any other proposals for times? Seeing none, those in favour of eight minutes debate time, please show. Hmm. Those in against? Motion passes, eight minutes it is. Um, anybody wish to speak to the motion itself? Dave? Yes. 